So, this is an app I wanted to demo for some time now, but never did. Which it was proved a good thing, since Authenticator had today its first stable release, and it is available on Flathub already. It is a two-factor authentication application, that generates a one-time usage PIN, based on a unique token, and saves us from using phone for receiving the PINs. Authenticator supports a huge number of providers, but for now, suppose we just want to set up an Amazon two-factor authentication. First, we'll choose Authenticator app for receiving the PIN, instead of phone SMS. Then we need to add Amazon service, of course. Some providers are missing icons, but we can add custom ones if we want to. Something that didn't actually worked pretty well as you will later see. By the way, I'd appreciate very much if you don't hack me, since I open my pins public. Then, we will use the barcode reader, to generate our password. If I was using a phone, like Librem 5 for example, we could use the camera, theoretically at least. Note that the app will keep regenerating pins, because this is how it works. You can't trigger it on demand. So we add the pin, we click verify, and that was pretty much all. By the way, if we enable the GNOME search provider, Shell Search will display the pins of our registered services. Something that didn't work on me, so I can't really show it to you. On preferences, we have an option to export our providers, and of course we can import them on another machine or something. That separated preferences window, wasn't very cool. There is also a dark theme and a night light option, which is more and more typical on more and more no maps. More interesting though, is that we can lock the application with a password, but if you asking me, I'd like to have a gnome login password there, rather setting a new one. So, if we now close the app and reopen it, it will ask us for a password. For super enhanced security, even if I show my pins on YouTube. Okay, now watch this. You normally may think you can generate a pin, and then remove the account from Authenticator. But if you try to disable the two steps verification, Amazon will ask you to insert a pin again. Which you won't have if you add it removed. And I'm not sure what's happening, if you haven't added a phone for a backup. Well, that was all. Thank you for watching.